this fun jack and this is um, game 49 of my Road to Commander series and this is a sabotage on Jugger with the M16 road outside the pipe and speed reloaded pipe and speed reloaded the Semtex in concussion grenades and the Kilstreaks are spiping and cat spiping and lift hand strike and the perks are scanned first like hand pro and ninja pro so as you can tell this first part is sped up because it was a 12 minute game and I don't fancy commentating 12 minutes and I don't think you want to see want to watch it for 12 minutes as we get the bomb so close as you see right now any of the games still goes into overtime and I don't quite remember if we win, because it's a fairly old game play. But anyway, so it's already sped up. It's just the action packed of how we fail to grab the bomb and keep it planted, or keep it within the vicinity of the bomb site, and so we get planted right here. And I get killed by a sentry for you, bitch. And this is the pinnacle of why we, why this game went to overtime was him, right there with the sentry for you. Camped in the hut, not up in the team. So you can tell we got one, two, three people on the bomb. Chasing the bomb all the time, and I'm Twitter here, make sure no one gets to flank around. But when the, when the time is called, I will chase after people with a bomb, even though it doesn't look like I wasn't really playing an objective. I was just making sure no one gets to flank on. So then enough, I get, I get killed with something for you as someone goes in a second chance. And this, I believe this is before patch. This is definitely found point, patch 1.07. I think it might be before patch 1.06. The second chance now. I think it might be, even though obviously it's a late after it comes out like two months later. I get a double M16 spray right there. And as you can tell, this is where I come to play the, the objective role in the building. There's the bomb, and I'm trying to keep the bomb covered, but I get dropped again by Send for You Rapid Fire. And do it. As per usual. You want to take extra caution when you come against people who, think that, who you suspect of using the Send for You Grip. Just, just me, you could pre fire them quitting on the corner. And they will still kill you so quickly. So if you tell the enemy's got a bomb, and the enemy is pushing the bomb up to the uh, bomb site, should say, and the game's come back to normal speed right now. So, and the enemy's got a bomb, so I'm thrown out, took on fire, I can cover it, and I attempt to shoot this dude, but my bolt to miss. Let's make sure he's not playing with his friends on the rock. So I know that's where a lot of them like to hide it. Have the little hidey hole on the rock, and I drop one guy, two guys, and get shot from behind. And you see, this is why I was on that place there. So I was up there, think he's going to kill me. Until the enemy has the bomb again, and the enemy is trying to get it up here. And I believe I can see someone up on there, but I think every team it gets in or it gets off. But really, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just keep the enemy away from the bomb. But I'm not doing the best job of it because I keep getting it because I can't really get there. And to be fair, I think I picked the wrong map, wrong gun for this map. I was like, I like an AK, but obviously didn't have the AK unlocked. But I picked me up a commander red that with the world's ugliest camo in the world. It's, oh, it's awful. Can look at the screen. It's awful. How did I play with this gun? That camo. Plenty of 16 cost. I want an advantage of people not going out. Imagine I've got a commander and like I said, all game, don't have to go beast mode. Oh well I want with that. With that amount of crap. How many bullets I have put in him then just get killed by someone camping? You see someone's got the spans. Getting the spans on. Or as I pass spaz. So I get a pump by rock right here. Again. For the second time today. Oh son, get back backstabbed. I'm in Ninja Pro. That's it, you might get a Semtex lobbed at me. Throw on back. No, do I not? Pick you off because you're oblivious. You've finished coming back around, so now I'm just going to wait for him to come around the corner. Oh, it's Ghost Bitch! So, so you know, Ghost Bitches have extra health, so they can survive free M16 sprays. Surely I'm back up here now because now I'm keeping a flank on the enemy, keeping her away. And let's see if I can ask for something. Oh, this gives her back some an MPG. So I'm really just checking my sides here because I don't want to get shot from behind as I'm trying to protect the bomb. Well, the, yeah, the bomb. And our bomb site. But no one, see, no one seems to be hearing on the radar on this part, so I ru rush out, apart from my team, but I rush out onto the little balcony pier thing. I can sort of see the bomb site in a way. 
and I come and shoot in, but I've been a good player and I come shoot behind the rock. I'm trying to get a little bitch up there. I think someone's about to see my kill. If you've got to put in a second chance. As you can tell, we're about halfway through the game right now. Well, yeah, halfway through ish. Just a bit more, just a bit less. And someone's talking to me on anything. They haven't even heard it go. So I dropped someone there right left from my spike lane. And I'd like to say that this road command is every game, not just the best games. It is every single game I play. So I think I've gone where I rage quit soon. Because I think my team was that bad or I had to go somewhere. It was one of the two, I can't quite remember which. I did rage quit out of it. Probably for the first, that our team was so bad, like came right there, right in front of it, it couldn't kill him. So I chucking it over this rock over there, but I don't think it gets anyone. But I know there's one, two, three, four people, well, it was four people who disappeared now. See, this geezer running the bomb, don't run the bomb past me, but I'm checking the corners. Yep, an airpam, drop it on where most of the enemy is. Now I think this entire game I've only had one quad near down for you. But I don't know if I got it, but team it takes him out of that, so I'm checking this way so I'm trying to keep the aims covered off, but I get dropped from the side and I get ghost bitch coming in from my team. Oh it's a teammate! As I see right there with this 74 you bitch. Not helping the team are you, my friend, not helping the team. And I get by far the best spawn ever. Spawn, walk out, someone will ring right at me. You got to pick up skills with a gun, but he ain't bad at all. As you can, like I said, I, like I said before, this is every game, and I said that because I think I don't think we win it. But most of the times I play Sabotage recently, and we've come in sudden death before we've won. Because I've been last alive, and um, I've killed everyone that's been left to kill. Let's get get my clutch on and drop you for the buzz kill. Drop you for the spy plane and get shot from behind. And we get sent for you bitch in the corner. Camping his ass off with a 70. Look at this, on Pride Rock with a 74 you. I mean, could you have get any more skill inside your boat? Whatsoever. And as you can tell, we've got two people nowhere near the bottom. One person with the with the intention of trying to kill people, as because I know we've pushed out our spawn. That's for sure no one spawns back here. I know Black Ops spawns are erratic and they are mental. Well, as you can tell, 7 seconds to go, 6 seconds to go, 5 seconds to go, the enemy's got the bomb, and actually this is going to be sudden death. So, I don't know if I win, don't know if I lose, don't know how I do, but probably at this rate, I'm going to fail it. Yeah, this is where I fail right now, because I get dropped as I'm in cover, so let's say thanks for watching, peace, and you can expect it the rest of my team.